three. Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my dressing room. No, that was stupid. to be filming my dressing room tour a lot of you guys have been waiting for this tour forever and honestly this room is still not completely done it's taking me forever to film it just because I feel like it's never gonna be done but it's fine we'll just go ahead and film it and I'm always changing things up so I'll update you guys like on my Instagram or whatever if I add things but anyways I'll go ahead and show you guys around the room I guess we'll just like make our way around the room. This is not a very big room. It is actually like one of our extra bedrooms and I just turned it into like dressing room, vanity station slash like extra storage for clothes and things like that. So it's just kind of like where I have all my fun blogging stuff. So we'll go ahead and start with just this little clothing rack. For the purpose of this video, I just tried to style it with like some really cute dresses and stuff. Normally I have like clothes on here for upcoming shoots or just like all of my newer stuff is normally on this rack and I got this rack from Ikea put it together myself it's super easy what I like about it is that it's adjustable so I can make it taller for like dresses and stuff and I like that it has wheels on the bottom so you can easily roll it around wherever you need it this is my favorite gold um, little bookshelf I got it off of a random website but I found the exact one on Amazon so everything will actually be linked down below in the description box so if you're wondering where anything is from everything will be linked down below so I just keep like all of my like favorite like designer pieces on here just to kind of like display and have it as like a really pretty decor piece in my room so right now i have my chloe nile bag that i've been wearing all summer i have a, my two valentino shoes the rock studs i have the sandals and my flats and then these are my new dior um, heels that i love so much this is my first dior piece and i'm just absolutely obsessed i haven't actually properly worn them out yet i've just kind of been trying them on because i'm too uh, nervous to ruin them. <laughs> Down at the bottom, I have both of my Gucci slides. I have the pink color and the black color, and I get a lot more use out of the pink because honestly, I don't wear too much black. I get more use out of black in the winter time. Moving on to my vanity station, I love this desk. I don't actually know the exact name, but it's from West Elm. Again, this will be linked down below. It has like a very geometric design across the drawers, and I love that it has the brass metal as the legs and it's just like the perfect size for a small desk or a vanity the drawers are very shallow though i'll kind of show you guys the inside of my drawers i keep all of my like daily makeup in here and this drawer actually makes me so mad because it gets stuck and i didn't know that until we put it all together so i was too lazy to return it <laughs> so anyways this is like all my everyday makeup I I guess it could be a little bit more organized, but these drawers are super shallow, so I can't really put any bins in there, so everything's just kind of like laid out and spread out, but it's really easy for me to just get ready here in the morning. These are dried pompous grass that I got off of Amazon. Dried pompous grass is like very in style right now. You see it all over Pinterest. It gives that really like natural, minimal, minimal vibe, and I used it for a shoot um, for Eve, so I just like made a little arrangement in my room. This mirror is from Target. They have a very similar one from West Elm, but I found this one at Target for a lot cheaper. I think it was only like 50 bucks. This mirror I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. I keep all of my little jewelry pieces and like sunglasses and hair clips and stuff in this little dish that I got from Morocco. This tray, I have all of my favorite perfumes and I got this tray in the kitchen section at Target. It's this really beautiful marble tray. Um, my favorite, favorite perfume at the moment are um, La Vie et Belle by Lancome. It's my absolute favorite. And then right now I'm loving the Dior La Colle Noire. It's like a really pretty rose oud scent. So that is pretty much it for my like vanity little desk area. This chair is from, I believe it's from Wayfair and I loved how modern but still like feminine it was with the pink velvet and the brass legs. I will link this down below for you guys because I get a lot of questions about it. I'm like sweating because we replaced the fan in this room with my chandelier. So I guess we can talk about the chandelier actually first. Um, this one I got, I believe I got it off of Wayfair. I actually put the chandelier together myself. Actually, everything in this room I put together myself. Yes, I did. <laughs> and it's all falling apart. No, that's not true. No, mm. it's falling apart. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so I love, love, love this chandelier. It's just so modern and elegant and just gives like, like that beautiful, like sparkly glam touch to my room that I love. But next I'll talk about the rug. So right now, like I told you, I'm always changing stuff up in here. So I'm sure that this will be changed um, here in the next few months or so. But right now I'm like playing around with kind of like layering rugs. So this gray one is from Overstock. I love this gray rug. I actually have this exact same gray rug in our master bedroom. If you guys are looking for a good modern gray rug, I will link it down below. It's not very expensive at all. And then I layered it with a few other rugs. So the pink one I actually bought as a prayer rug originally, but it's a little bit too long, but I have still honestly been using it as a prayer rug. Anyways, um, it's from H&M Home and it is like um, really thin and like flexible. It's like honestly it would be like the perfect prayer rug if it wasn't so long but i just went ahead and kept it anyway since i loved it they do have it in a gray color as well so i'll link those down below the furry one honestly i probably shouldn't even have this in here right now since it's like summer and it's really hot and nobody uses faux fur rugs in the summer but this one i got off amazon it's like a sheepskin style rug and i really like it oh and you know who else really likes it is my cat leo this is his favorite spot anytime you can't find him he's on this rug sleeping <laughs> next we're gonna move on to my chest of drawers and you guys i i cannot tell you how excited i was when i finally received this in the mail it took like three months to come in from macy's and it was worth the wait because it is so useful and so beautiful. I love it so much. So it's kind of like this pebbledy gray color. Like the texture on it is a little bit pebbledy. If you can see that, it's a little bit different, but the color is just absolutely stunning. It's the perfect mix between a brownish color and a gray. So it really matched this room. It's super neutral. I love the brass hardware on it as well. The drawers are really like deep so it holds so much i needed this chest of drawers for storage because i have a bunch of makeup that i get all the time and i need to like have somewhere to put it and organize and skincare and my camera equipment so this is just like the perfect organizational unit for all of that so i have the makeup on top like you saw i have skincare in the second uh drawer all of these little um compartments i got from target in the bathroom section and they were just like the perfect uh fit so yeah and then this one i just have oh maybe you shouldn't see that one <laughs> this one's really not as organized but i have just extra hijabs and these are a bunch of travel cases i guess i just didn't know where else to put those um, and then the bottom ones are camera equipment Not as organized, but at least I have somewhere to put it now. For these frames on the wall, I got them from Target, and I cannot decide what I want to frame in the frames. Right now, I just printed out my favorite pink color and just framed that on a piece of paper, and I thought it gave like at least a like nice, clean, minimal look, but I would love to find some kind of like maybe watercolor print or something in that similar peachy pink color, so... Until we find something, that is what is framed for now. Next, I have this really gorgeous faux fiddle leaf fig tree that I got off World Market. Actually, I went to the store and picked it up in my little bitty car. I don't know how I fit this in my car. I came home and I was like, I showed Omar and he was like, how on earth did you get that home? <laughs> I still don't. I still don't know. Yeah. And it's not, I mean, it's a really substantial weight too. It's really heavy. I don't know how I actually brought this in the house. But anyways, it is like over six feet tall it's very tall and um the wood on here actually looks like real wood i feel like it i feel like it looks very authentic it doesn't look like a really cheap um like a really cheap fiddly fig tree if you know what i mean like it doesn't look super fake would you agree like from yeah. far away would you think it's really yeah from back here it looks looks good i would think so yeah. anyways i love it so much and i love that my cat is not going to destroy it like he has my other real plant. Yeah. <laughs> the pot that it's in is from, where is it from? Home Goods. Okay, the last couple of things are my curtains. So I have a gold curtain rod up here that I got off Overstock. It was very inexpensive. And as you can see, Omar is the one who put this up because there are definitely random holes in the wall that are not supposed to be there. And these linen curtains are from West Elm. I originally had some like, blush pink velvet curtains but it was just like too heavy i needed something a little bit lighter and more airy um and i just didn't want this room to look too 
pink and girly because I mean of course I love like feminine style but I just don't want it to look like too little girlish if you know what I mean I'm kind of like trying to figure out what my overall style for this room is I think it's more of like a feminine modern chic would you agree I sure, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. This mirror, I'm actually not 100% in love with, honestly. I do love the, the mirrored um, edges, but I don't necessarily like the studs. I guess that's just not really my style. I think I got it because I like the mirrored frame, but I wish it didn't have the studs. Anyways, I'm just a perfectionist, so these things bother me. <laughs> um, if I could find a like really nice brass... Um, framed mirror then I might switch it out but then again do I need a new mirror I don't know is it you necessary? don't you don't need Probably a new not. mirror no. <laughs> but I got this one from Bed Bath and Beyond and I like the size of it it's really tall and you can see my full outfit in the mirror do you like it mm -hmm. thank you next this is where I keep all of my like extra dresses and like winter clothes coats and a few more bags and some extra hijabs. So I have all of my evening gowns here. I am an evening gown fanatic. I am obsessed with long sleeve like evening gowns. I like save all of them. This is like my little collection. This is one I wore recently to a wedding by Self Portrait. I have some from ASOS, some from Needle and Thread, some from a brand called, oh, what are they called? At least Fair. So I have a bunch of my faves in here and then back there you're not going to be able to see it but I have all my winter coats or some of my winter coats. These are some of my other designer bags. A lot of them I use more in the fall time like my Chloe Tess bag and my little Chanel little baby bag. I don't wear a lot of black at, at all really but when I do wear black this is the bag that I use um, and it's usually more in the fall and winter. Um, what else? I have my little Gucci belt and some ankle boots at the bottom. Um, I also have all of my sweaters. I know that they're really not supposed to be hung up. They're really supposed to fold sweaters, but I just don't really have anywhere to store them. So these are just the way that I like store my hijabs. I get this question a lot of like how I organize my hijabs, and this is the exact way that I do it. So I just take my regular hangers and I place them on... The hanger like that I don't know it's probably not a good tutorial <laughs> but this is how I store my hijabs um what else can I tell you oh another thing that I wanted to mention is as far as like keeping a good cohesive look to your closet having the same color hangers um just makes a huge difference that that's why whenever we moved here I literally threw away like all the different colored hangers anything that was metal anything that wasn't white I basically threw away so that I could have a good cohesive um, closet because that really makes such a difference. So this is just a little area behind the door that's normally filled with like all of my packages and like things I need to return. Honestly, this room is most of the time a disaster area, but it's a I war did, zone. Yeah, but <laughs> I cleaned it up for you guys. But I did want to share with you guys a couple of things. This I recently just got. It's a mini ring light that I actually normally have next to my vanity and it has a little place for my phone so you can do like Instagram stories. It has this like little remote thing where you can turn it on and you like can change the different settings for which kind of light you want if you want like a more warm light or a more natural light and it's honestly perfect for just like having the perfect lighting to do your makeup in if you want to have this next to your vanity so that's just a little tip for you guys i got this off amazon i'm pretty sure it was only around 40 bucks so i will link it down below i hope that you guys enjoyed getting to see a little bit closer look at my dressing room where i film all my videos and where you see it in my vlogs and everything like that <laughs> okay i'm gonna kick all more out of the room now bye